Today, I'm going to have a close look at uh, the towel and sleeping bag that I took on my Camino. I hope this helps you as you prepare for yours. So, sit back and enjoy. This was my choice of sleeping bag. As you can see, it's a plus 10 rating, so it's suited to warm conditions. It's small and compact, and I found it ideal for the Camino. A lot of people bought um, bags like minus five and warmer bags um, or bags that are suited to sleeping in cool conditions with a cold rating. And obviously when you buy a bag of that variety, it's bigger, it's heavier, and it performs no real benefit unless you're there in the cold months. I was in May, June, and this was fine. There was no need to splurge out and buy a bigger backpack, a bigger sleeping bag for your backpack. This um, was adequate and all its job is to do is give a layer of comfort between you and the albergue beds. Often those beds are just plastic mattresses, so you need some comfort. Also, this sleeping bag it's only a basic one, you can see the, the drawing of it there. I laid it out on the grass um, at my home before I left to go to Europe and I sprayed it with permethrin. It's an anti-bed bug spray, I'll show you in a minute. That prevents you from getting annihilated from bed bugs, which definitely do live in the crowded albergues especially in the last third of the Camino. When you get past Surya, there's some very busy ones. Um, and if you go in the warm months, you're gonna have issues if you don't treat your pack, uh, don't treat your bag with permethrin spray. Um, one of my friends, he unfortunately um, got, had big issues with bed bugs. He went into an albergue he put his bag down, his sleeping bag on the bed, because that's what you do when you arrive. You, you put your bag on your, your sleeping bag on your bed, and then no, everyone knows that's where you sleep. And the next day, he had all these bed bugs on him, and the, or he had all these bites from bed bugs, and the albergue blamed him for it. They accused him of transferring the bed bugs to their albergue. So you won't get any sympathy if you get a case of bed bugs. Therefore, spend 20 minutes uh, treating your uh, bag with permethrin and keep that material around you, the inner part of your bag, at night when you sleep. And your chances of having a big problem with bed bugs. I know we're near as bad. Here is that permethrin spray which you need for your sleeping bag. I used over half of this tin in one application. It's a uh, clean K L double -E, e N clean health. This costs about twenty dollars online. I would really recommend uh, spraying your bag. Um, you don't want bed, bed bugs. <laughs> this is a microfiber travel towel. It's the extra large size and I found this really good to take. This is what you'll use on an almost daily basis at the albergues because they will typically not provide you with a towel. Some of them will, but in my experience, most of them didn't. So this becomes a very welcome thing at the end of the day to have a big dry towel. And what it also does is in situations where the albergues don't give you a pillow, that becomes like a makeshift pillow and it's good enough to perform that task. It's strong, um, it goes through as many washes as you want, it stays the same. It's compact, it goes in your pack well, 
Um, some people suggest bring small and medium sizes. I would only take the extra large size. Um, it was, for me, it was perfect. In the next part, I'm going to look at the final small items that you need for the Camino. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you in the last part.